a brief overview of what Xero projects is, uh, what it can do, and then also show you an alternative um, that is a little bit more simplified and could be of use. So first of all, Xero projects, uh, what you can do here is invoice to clients. You can log your expenses um, and actual time. Uh, this gives you functionality to enter deadlines so you can see when projects are becoming due. Uh, this package comes at a cost of £5 per user. Um, what I can show you now is an alternative using tracking categories in Zero. To do this, we'll go to accounting, we'll go to advanced. We'll go over on the right hand side to tracking categories. And within here, we can click add tracking category. And let's call this one projects. We can create some ongoing projects already, or we can add as we go. So if we create one for the Woven and one for Redden, hit save, and these tracking categories are now live. So if we go through the process of creating an invoice and logging it against that project. So if we click new invoice, you can create the invoice uh, as you would normally. Um, let's do this invoice for myself. Uh, we can add any description you want. So project open 2019. We want to charge two and a half thousand pounds. You'll see here there's a project box. We can now use the drop down here to select what project we would like or we can add one at this point. So let's put this one to Wokenham and then add a due date today and then approve. What I'll now do is create a bill um, against this project as well. To do that, we go to bills, create a bill. And let's say this is for roofing supplies. Open roofing, add a due date, enter description as normal, um, roofing supplies, and we paid £500. I'd like to put this to direct expenses, and again we've got the project box, so we can log this against Woken and we can hit approve. What this is now done is it has created a sales invoice and purchase. So what we can now do is run a profit and loss to see if we've made profit or loss on this project. To do that, we can go to accounting, reports, profit and loss, and click report settings. We can then use this project's um, filter here to say we only want to see things logged to Woken. And what this will show is your sales and your costs that you've logged against this tracking code to give you an overview of profit loss um, per your project. So I think this is a easy way um, and a cheaper way to do the projects if you need just basic reporting and you don't need um, to record time or you wouldn't want to log all the information and then invoice at the end. Um, this is a good alternative and a free one. Hope you've enjoyed the video and please contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.